This is Nate with Brookie.com. We're here with Shane Del Rosario. Getting going? ready to fight M1 Challenge, representing Team USA West against Maxine Grishin on July 4th. How's training been going for your fight? Uh, it's been going good. You know, doing all the usual things, a lot of strength conditioning, a lot of sparring, um, just a lot of training, which, you know, gets old after a while. Um, now, but I'm just ready to relax now, fly out to Korea, and, you know, do my thing. Now, when you're training for a fight, compared to when you're just training to stay in shape, how, how, how do you differ your training? Uh, you know, obviously the intensity level is just way higher. Um, training twice a day, every day almost. We're doing a lot of sprints, a lot of sparring, you know, um, versus when I'm off, I'm uh, drinking a lot of beer and going to the beach. <laughs> That's the difference. So no beer while you're training then? <laughs> uh, a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, your opponent, Maxim Grishin, do you know much about him? Or? Uh, I don't, you know, the, before it was going to be another guy, I forgot his name, he had like 20 some fights, um, a lot of experience, like a lot of experience in Sambo, and then they switched out the whole team. So I don't know what the strategy is, is in that, I don't know, you know, they're a lot younger guys, maybe you know, a lot more hungry. So I'm going in, to, uh, he looks kind of tall, um, I can't find any videos on him, he's two and two. Um, but I'm going in that he's a young, hungry fighter and he's going to come out to fight. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to go out and do my thing, you know. Right now I've only had six fights, so most of my fights I don't know a lot about the guys, you know. A lot of still, you know, so a lot of unknown. But, um, you know, I train for, you know, a fight, so I'm going to be ready. So are you worried about jet lag or anything like that when you get down there? Uh, no, you know, uh, I went to Korea a couple months ago and I was fine. You know, I slept all the way out there. And by the time we get there so quick, by the time we fight, you don't have time to think about jet lag. It's just like, weigh in, let's go. <laughs> So you're six and L as an MMA as an MMA fighter, but you're also the WBC Muay Thai WBC, WBC sorry, WBC Muay Thai uh, heavyweight champion. Uh, are you going to plan on continuing to fight Muay Thai, or are you going to strictly focus on MMA now? No, I want to do both. I have to defend my title, so hopefully by uh, end of this year, you know, the promoter keeps calling me. So probably end of this year, I'm going to fight. Um, I don't know who it is going to be there. He's talking about maybe Scott Lighty for uh, for the defense. So uh, you know. You know, I'm trying to focus on MMA, you know, because that's where the money's at and that's where, the, you know, the future is for. But I love Muay Thai. Um, that's my favorite thing to do. I can I can stand up all day and train that, you know. But one hour ground, I'm bitching about it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I love Muay Thai. You know, I want to do it to help out the sport, you know, and try to bring it, make it more popular over here. All right, now, you, uh, you know, you're really good at Muay Thai. You finish all your, I mean, five of your fights have been finished by TKO or KO, and then you got one submission win. Uh, do you train more on jiu-jitsu and you know kind of just put your Muay Thai on the back burner? Yeah, I've been focusing a lot on you know, wrestling and jiu-jitsu. Ajiba Santana has been teaching me a lot, you know, so I mean I have ground, you know, it's not like I have nothing, you know, I'm not like one of those Muay Thai fighters that once they get to the ground they're just fish out of water, you know, I've been training so I feel comfortable, you know, obviously everything can always get better. Um, but yeah, I'm still focused on stand-up too, but mostly on wrestling and uh, jiu-jitsu. And now a question I'd like to ask all the fighters we interview is, if you weren't a professional fighter, what would you be doing as a career? <laughs> I'd probably still be in graduate school right now or something. Yeah. I graduated UCI three years ago, and uh, I was over getting a job or going back to school, so this is what I'm doing. And it's going good so far. All right, now, where do you see yourself in five years, career-wise, like in MMA and Muay Thai? Um, you know, I was trying to work really hard right now. I want to get a lot of fights, at least get, you know, 15, maybe up to 20 fights, and then I want to push for the UFC. So hopefully in five years, I want to be one of the top-ranked guys in UFC for sure, you know, or whatever the top organization is at that time. You know, and I, I want to put, my goal for me is I want to try to have a world title in both Muay Thai and MMA. You know, so right now, I'm not one of those guys going to call out the top guys in both sports. You know, I am just want to be in the gym, work out, and then uh, when I'm ready, I want to go shoot for those goals. Now, uh, you, you know, you're he fighting at heavyweight. Uh, rumors are that you're planning on moving down to light heavyweight. Is that still a plan? Uh, you know, we've talked about it a lot, you know, because I'm like right in between. Right now I'm like 245 though, but I used to be like about 230. So, I mean, the, the cut is obviously, you know, it's, it's feasible, but uh, I've never cut weight in my life. Actually, for Muay Thai, I cut to 230, and, I, I, you know, I'm ambitious about that. but. You know, uh, when you look at guys like Brock Lesnar and some of those huge guys, you know, it's just like you have to cut probably, you know, because those guys are monsters. But uh, it's just something I, we got to try, you know, we are talking about trying to cut weight, just to cut weight, and then, you know, try to have like a sparring day and see how, I, you know, I react to it. So, uh, you know, it's, we're still 50-50 right now, we'll see. <laughs> you know, when I, when I get to the top level, maybe, I probably will have to cut, you know, but, you know, we'll see how things go. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Shane Del Rosario. Make sure to watch M1 Challenge as Team USA West takes on Russia and hopefully come away with the victory. Thanks a lot, Shane. Thank you. See you guys later.